Bonus of six. So. Alright, let me see. I think we're and we're live. <laughs> So, hey guys, this is Kayla Houston with Luxury Living, all things HGX powered by Connect Realty. And I am joined today by the duo, Miss Dominique and Chef Adrian with In House Chefs. Thank you guys for coming and um, actually coming constantly every Monday and Thursday to share you guys' recipes during the Thrive campaign. Thank you guys. No problem. Absolutely, not a problem. All right. Awesome, awesome. So, um, so we know that we meet on, on Mondays to discuss what we'll be cooking for the week. So kind of give us a rundown of what we'll be doing. Okay, well, as a reminder, as Michaela said, my name is Dominique. And I'm Seb Adrian. And we are? In-house chefs. Yeah, chefs. And so what are we gonna be cooking this week, y'all? So this week, we're gonna do a little something Southern. We just had a big crawfish boil and I know a lot of people out there do a lot mm -hmm. of crawfish boils and they, have a lot of crawfish left over, right? Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna do crawfish etouffee. Okay, I just hold on. Mm. Pause, pause. Up until today, I didn't know we were doing crawfish etouffee, so I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, why crawfish etouffee? What is it? Because it's a uh, great southern down home, just. Oh, the, the, the Cajunness of it. Is that a word, Cajunness? No. Cajunness, you, we like to make words, don't we? But it's definitely a comfort food for yes. sure. Um, yes. and, and it does, allows you to have so much spice and so much flavor. And so what I like about it's this- It's a season for it. It's the perfect it, season. It's crawfish season, why not? It surely is. And so I'm excited because I think we're going to be doing this, I believe, a little bit different. Yes. Tell me yes. why. Yeah, so instead of the rice, because we're going to keep it a little healthier. Yeah. So instead of using rice, we're going to go ahead and add our cauliflower rice in there, our rice cauliflower. So you can either buy it rice by itself, or you can, if you trust yourself with a knife or a chopping machine, you can. And I don't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> myself with a knife nor a chopping machine. <laughs> instead of using flour mm -hmm. it's going to be enjoyable for you guys that are gluten-free as well so we're going to do it with a little cornstarch instead of flour okay keeps it healthy look at y'all that's yeah. what i love i love how y'all do the little healthy twists to the to the classics i love it okay, okay so run down what they need to prepare all right the recipe for this dish includes celery onion green bell pepper chopped garlic green onion, cauliflower rice, chicken stock, your favorite Cajun seasoning. Now we're going to be using Tony Satchery's. Now I know a lot of people, for a lot of people that's a little bit salty on the saltier mm -hmm. side, but you can use your favorite type of uh, Cajun seasoning as well as Tony Satchery's does have a low sodium version as well. Version, yes. Yeah. Now, so typically when we go in and we are in our homes uh, that we come and cater for or, or, you know, as a private chef, we do our own private um, seasoning. We do, he does have a seasoning recipe that is very exclusive to him um, for this. I can't give you all that. Oh. He's not. <laughs> uh, but again. I don't blame you. There's the, but like I said, the alternative is, like I said, what he, he mentioned was a Tony Satras or again, picking and choosing your favorite um, uh, Cajun seasoning. Go ahead. Awesome. All right, back to our ingredients. We're gonna need some Cajun sausage as well as your your favorite Cajun sausage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, your crawfish tails. We're gonna add some shrimp in there too. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't do seafood. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do, I do. <laughs> but for those, for those that don't, um, you can um, substitute that for either just a chicken and sausage etouffee. Okay. Um, you don't have to have the seafood if that's if it's an allergy or something that you're not fond of. Same thing with the sausage. Make sure if you want a, a beef versus a pork. Again, we're gonna we're gonna make it the way we like it and the way a, a traditional, a little bit traditional, but with our spin on it. Um, but again, there's always those substitutions in case you're not if you're concerned about the meat. Again, sodium or again, um, and especially I love the fact of doing it cauliflower rice. Yes. and doing the, the corn flour. 
or I'm right. sorry, corn, corn starch. Corn starch. Corn starch. Yeah. So yeah. You need some butter, bay leaf, mm-hmm. and finish off with a little bit of fresh thyme. Ooh, nice. Oh, Ooh, I can could give me some good color in there. It's going to be very, very colorful. Oh, yeah. And that's what I like about it, again, is that when you are serving it in your home for your families, um, either, you know, for a significant other or just for yourself, it is something that is very beautiful to look at. So when you serve it to the table, um, it is not just something slopped together. It's going to look beautiful um, because of the colors. Also, you're going to feel good about eating it where, yes, it's a Southern comfort food, but it's going to be beautiful and you're going to feel good about eating it. Yeah. I know that um, as we, and, and truly, we are believing for this to be closer to the end um, uh, of, of this quarantine season. Um, and, and again, my, my thought is when you're thinking about, if you've been at home and you've been vegging out, eating terrible foods, <laughs> giving you an opportunity to just like what um, Kayla that you're doing is thriving. You are really doing more than just living through it and that you can really yeah. take the time, take care of yourself, yeah. you have the comfort of yeah. it, um, but you can take care of yourself in a healthy way so that we all can get back to our normal selves. Yes. <laughs> Go outside. Right. Yes, I'm hearing some May 1st openings here in the city, here in Houston, where restaurants are opening May 1st. Yes, so we're super excited about that. Um, but again, I have all of the ingredients that we just listed. Um, Kayla's going to be doing such a great job. Thank you so much for listing it down below. Yes, it is listed right now. It will be in the description. They're already listed in there. So you have an opportunity to not only take a part and watch them, but, but do it alongside chef and Dominique as they make this dish. So um, this week, again, we will be at another property. I'm excited to have you guys come and to, I love eating y'all's food. (laughs) That's really, I I just want to go to the bottom line, biggest part of the biggest, the most important piece of this all is I get the opportunity to eat your food every week. I feel like I'm spoiled. I I knew it. I knew it. (laughs) Uh, I'm so excited about it though. So we're, we're excited to see yes, it. Yeah, it'll be great. It'll be, be great. Um, beautiful kitchen. So, uh, so again, so the, the list of um, items, is this like a, this is a classic made with a twist for it to be a little bit healthier. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the only thing that I even heard in there that you could even say might cause any issues at all is butter. I mean, that's it. That, that has any at all. That's the only thing in the in the recipe that I was like okay that's might be not healthy but everything else is and I've got to have butter so well I know but I like the fact that like I'm gonna take away your carb yeah. or and that, give you but yeah. hey yeah. writing way more I gotta, about- I gotta have some flavor, <laughs> gotta have flavor. <laughs> well I'm excited for it guys I again it's always a pleasure seeing you guys in person and on screen I'm looking forward to this Thursday and um other than that I got I will see you guys then um guys if you again go ahead take make your shopping list go out grab the items that's necessary for this friday i'm sorry this thursday's um featured meal and we will see you on the screen at 6 30 on thursday awesome we'll see you have a good night okay bye everybody Bye. bye bye